Is artificial general intelligence or AGI even possible? The tech industry is not being truthful with you about this future technology. Let's talk about it. So welcome to Dave is Not AI, the channel where we take a critical, no-nonsense look at artificial intelligence. I'm Dave Linthicum, an AI expert with over 30 years of experience in the enterprise AI field, and I'm a top AI influencer and thought leader. Here we examine what works and what does not, providing honest and objective analysis. If that interests you, please subscribe, like, and comment. Let's get started. So first, let's define what AGI is, because I think there's a lot of definitions of it out there right now, and that's a bit of a problem. We're going to talk about that here. So AGI, artificial general intelligence, refers to a type of machine intelligence that can understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks, matching or exceeding human cognitive abilities. And so this is what we think of in terms of AI, you know, back in the science fiction days, you know, 2001, A Space Odyssey and HAL 9000 and the ability to have a conversation and the ability for these AI systems to create unique thoughts and unique ideas and outthink us as humans. And so we're looking at AGI as having the ability to do that. Um, that's just a tougher putt than I think that many of the technology providers think it is. And even though it's being hyped out there. So unlike today's AI, you know, which is typically specialized and task specific, very narrowly focused, uh, AGI would be capable of reasoning, problem solving, and adapting to new situations independently, just like a human. So AGI remain, remains theoretical now. It does not yet exist and remains a distant goal for researchers. The term is often used in tech marketing to describe advanced AI, AI, but true AGI would represent a massive leap beyond current technology. So the tech providers now are very focused on it because they see it as a marketing advantage for them. So in other words, we've had generative AI around for a while. It's been around for you know, three, four years in terms of a workable version, chat GPT and all that stuff. We use it every day in our life. We have agentic AI, and I think people are still trying to figure out, you know, where that applies. And I have a show, a uh, past show on uh, on agentic AI in terms of what it is and what it really means. And I'll, I'll go ahead and link to it up here. AGI is more of a moonshot. So in other words, we're defining something that doesn't exist. And that's a bit concerning to me because at the end of the day, if enterprises are waiting for this technology to show up, they may be waiting for a long period of time. Or worse, I think things that the tech providers out there may call AGI aren't necessarily AGI at all or in terms of what was anticipated. And it's going to have simulations in it. It's going to appear to have creativity and innovation, but they're not going to be there yet. And I think this race to spend billions of dollars on creating something that's a facsimile of AGI is where we're going to go over the next few years. And I doubt that we're ever going to get, at least in my lifetime, AGI capabilities the way they're being defined in academia now, just because it's too much of a, of a leap in terms of where we are now as to where the technology can go. In other words, the ability to create and simulate human intelligence and the fact that we have creativity. In other words, we're able to have net new ideas and net new thoughts. That's why we have, you know, created flight and the wheel and you know, all the other innovations that humans created over time. That's unique to humans. And, and obviously AI capabilities, AI can simulate that and basically provide a, a very narrowly focused facsimile based on training data. In many instances, do things better than we can do as humans. But as far as replacing humans, that's something I don't think we're going to get to. And I think the industry selling that is not necessarily a good thing. So the reason you're seeing talks about AGI right now, are there, there's limits, limitations to today's AI. Despite impressive advances, AI today is fundamentally narrow and brittle, as we mentioned earlier, excelling at specific tasks, but they're not necessarily going to be able to do flexible reasoning or adaptation. Uh, they're unable to do that. We are still far from machines exhibiting contextual understanding and creativity that characterizes general artificial intelligence. So AI models still lack robust general reasoning, common sense, and flexible problem solving across domains. And the current architectures aren't capable of human-like learning, self-improvement, or reliable, you know, reliably transferring knowledge between tasks. So high 
Computational demands like scalability and sufficient memory or context handling further hold progress back. And so and in many cases, I don't think it's a hardware thing. People point to AGI. So the reason we can't get to it is because we just don't have the, the processors yet. So we have to invent the processors yet in order for AGI to be a thing. I'm not sure that's going to be the case. It's, it's really kind of uh, simulating something that's incredibly hard to simulate. I don't think, you know, I see a day maybe we get close to it. But as far as having something that is as valuable as I think that the, uh, the tech providers say it is and what it's going to be and therefore work with us, that's more of a marketing play. Um, I'm not going to call it a scam, but it's misleading. In other words, we're moving to AGI and we're going to get here you know, sometime soon, you know, stick with us. And everybody's saying we're just a few years away from it or a few months away from it, things like that. I think that's a bit misleading in the fact that you may have enterprises trying to follow these tech companies into whatever value AGI is able to bring because everybody saw the boom around generative AI and the see re- they see a recreation of it with the AGI boom. And it would be a big boom if the technology could actually be created. But I don't think we're going to get there anytime soon. And I think many of enterprises are going to be misled in terms of investing and spending money in something that never shows up as something that's able to provide value. And there's some selfish motivations there as well. So tech companies often hype AGI to attract investment and galvanize teams. Um, but they can foster unrealistic expectations, as we mentioned earlier. And skepticism is warranted when commercial interests blur the line between innovation and science fiction. So there is a bit of bait and switch that I think is going on now. And certainly the cloud providers are doing it. Most of the AI tech providers are doing this as well. They're pushing their companies toward the ability to build this incredibly powerful technology if they're able to you know, pull it off and gaining um, partners, you know, gaining investment and even gaining money from some of the enterprises that are out there. And I think that may be a bit misleading in terms of what they're going to be really able to do and what they're going to be really able to deliver. And if you talk to the AI thought leaders out there and, you know, people who are my peers, um, they kind of agree with that. In other words, they, they don't see that understanding the mechanisms that are going to be needed to get to, um, you know, AGI uh, in the next few years just don't exist. And it's going to be very difficult to get there. And so much so that I wouldn't be admitting or claiming that I'm going to get there anytime soon because I don't know what the mechanisms are going to be needed to get me there. There's lots of experimentation, lots of research that needs to occur. And it's not going to be the invention of the super powerful chip, you know, the next GPU or whatever. It's going to be the ability to deal with very complex technologies in a way we were able to provide AGI capabilities that are going to be repeatable. And like I said, I think we're going to see instances, well, they're, they're going to call it AGI, but it's going to be more of a simulation. In other words, an innovation simulation, which sounds weird, but it's not going to be true innovation. In other words, they're putting together, you know, strings of AI processes to get to as close as AGI as they can, but they're never not necessarily, they're not necessarily going to get there anytime soon. So there are technical and ethical barriers out there now. So building AGI would require breakthroughs, not just in algorithms, but ethics, safety, and understanding of, you know, consciousness itself. Um, The technical obstacles are immense and advancing too quickly could introduce major societal risks. So again, if we are able to build this, and I'm very skeptical that that's going to happen, I wouldn't sell that as something I wouldn't provide a timeline for you guys because I just don't see it happening Uh, in any kind of an understood way, you know, obviously we have some ethical considerations. In other words, they have something that will, you know, simulate the, uh, you know, replace the brilliance of a human being. We don't need as many human beings. And so that question will come up as well. Uh, It's been bantered about, and certainly when generative AI exploded, you know, we're still, you know, talking a bit about that and the ability to kind of replace some jobs, people who are doing busy work, information processing things, things like that. And, that's been fairly predictable in terms of how it's going to change the way we work. Now, AGI would be a complete replacement of human beings. In essence, you could simulate an entire company of, of agents uh, that are simulating what human beings do or robots, and they're able to learn, they're able to adapt, they're able to grow. And by doing so, that would be incredibly successful, but incredibly sad for us because we wouldn't be needed. So we have to kind of wrestle with that. If, In other words, if we are going to be able to create AGI, and again, hugely skeptical that that's going to happen anytime in the near future, 
we have to have some kind of a plan for how it's going to be used. So what's the realistic timeline for AGI? Well, many in the industry claim AGI is just a decade away. I've been hearing that for a long time. But past predictions have consistently missed the mark. And it's much more plausible that truly general intelligence, if even achievable, is still several decades out and rushing toward it may be the biggest risk of all. In other words, the big concern would be enterprises thinking that it's just around the corner and spending research dollars and, and spending investment dollars in preparing for it, and it never shows up, and you're missing the mark on leveraging other technologies, even generative AI. In other words, if you're waiting for a AGI to show up to replace uh, you know, all the limitations that you had with the generative AI technology, and it doesn't show up, you're going to be missing the mark, in many cases, putting the company at risk, because a AI is able to provide a, a true innovative differentiator for many businesses that understand how to leverage it. But they need to understand the capabilities that it has and the capabilities it doesn't have and make sure the use cases are going to be plausible and bring value back to the business. So what you'll see soon is AI companies releasing things that they call AGI models, but are AGI simulators, as I mentioned earlier. What that means is that what's being sold as AGI is just an advanced AI model that's able to simulate some of the capabilities, but would not be considered AGI by any, anyone in the know. Um, and that is the biggest danger. Uh, in other words, tech companies are very good at faking it until they make it. And so my concern would be something that's fairly impressive in terms of a, you know, a stepping stone product that they're calling AGI, but it's not AGI. And it becomes a distraction and a bit of misinformation and a misinvestment from any of the enterprises that are running after that. So in other words, they think it's a pot of gold in the rainbow believe our ship has arrived with AGI and we're going to go ahead and jump on this and we're going to be a billion dollar company in a very short period of time that hopefully that you're a million dollar company if you're, if you're making that claim um, and it just doesn't happen and it misaligns investments confuses people makes people frustrated with the technology industry and I think they're already frustrated with it as well so I would rather approach this with telling people the truth in other words what is the chances of us getting there anytime soon? And I don't think it's going to be years away. I think it's decades. Uh, and most of the research that I've done and my understanding of what AGI is selling and the current capabilities of the AI technology that I work with every day, I stand by that. Well, anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos on this channel. Also check out my InfoWorld Cloud Computing blog, my 100 plus LinkedIn learning courses, and of course, my generative AI architecture course out on Go Cloud Careers. And finally, my latest book, An Insider's Guide to Cloud Computing. So until next week, stay very, very safe. Cheers.